Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Can I have a quick plus one in the chat if I'm visible as well as equally audible? And we would start right away. But before that, let me just turn on my preview screen to see if I'm visible as well as equally audible or not. Okay, it seems like. Okay. Let me just adjust the camera. Seems like I have a patch. Fair enough. Now the patch is removed and it's done. Today we would be discussing yesterday's problem of the day that is reverse a stack string using stack. And the problem difficulty level of the problem mentioned is easy, but it should be basic. And success percentage is 54%. And this is a problem related to strings and stacks. Okay, if you break down the problem statement itself. Now let me just refresh the screen. Yeah, fair enough. Please like the video. There are a lot of people attending the session. Okay, so you are given a string S. The task is to reverse the string using stack. Okay, so before we start the implementation with this stack, let us first learn how stacks works. So stacks works on the principle of LIFO. Okay, last in, first out. Okay, so let me describe you. Stack, you can visualize it as a bookshelf. Okay, you can visualize it as a bookshelf. Now, suppose the biology book, the maths book, and the economics book is kept one over each other. So, suppose, here Jayadha, I'm fine, what about you? Suppose, the economics book was the last book you kept at the top. So, if you go and access the top book, then the top book, the last book you kept would be the top book. So, this would be the, the top element. Now, suppose you want to... Um, keep a book at the bookshelf then it will be kept above the top element so that is known as push operation okay so let me just tell you in brief now so basically you can visualize this as a bookshelf so now suppose one is entered so whenever you visualize the stack always visualize in vertical rather than horizontal okay in problem statements to save the space okay and to remove the spacing after that Mostly they describe as in horizontal manner, but the best way to visualize is, is to visualize it in vertical manner. So what we can do is we can suppose we pushed one, then we pushed two, then we pushed three, then we pushed four, then we pushed five. Now if we try to access the top element, then this element would get accessed. Okay, fair enough. This is this is it. So what we need to do is we need to use the stack okay to reverse the string. Now, if you just observe, suppose we have a string known as A, B, C and D. So, if we just push A into the stack, then we push B into the stack, then we push C into the stack, then we push D into the stack. And if we now access the top element, then the first element we would be getting is D, then D would be removed and then we would be getting C, then C would be removed, now we would be getting B, now B would be removed. And now we would be getting A, now A would be removed. So we can clearly see that we don't need to do anything, rather just insert all the given characters in the stack and just take out in the manner they are appearing and just return the result. This is what you need to do. So this stack concept is clear. So what I would be doing is I would be implementing it live itself. Okay. And I just saw the solution and I didn't implement it to be honest. So let me see if I can go through or not. Okay. So now what we would be doing is we are have the length. Okay. So instead of len, I am more accustomed to n. So I would be going moving forward with this n thing. And I would be just, yeah, fair enough. I won't be doing this. Yeah, this is clear. Now, let me just, yeah. So what we can do is we can have a stack of, okay. We can have a stack of characters and naming it as st. Okay. Then moving forward, what we would do is for int i is equals to 0, i is less than n and i plus plus. Okay. And instead of this long, what we can do is so if suppose n was not given, only the string was given, and we need to take out the value of length and then use a for loop. So what you can do instead is use a for each loop 
because we need to iterate on each of the elements okay fair enough let me make it lower case also so that we don't fall into confusions okay so now what we would be doing is st dot push the current character okay looks neat also now moving forward what we can do is we would there are two options either we take one more auxiliary one more auxiliary string or what we can do is to make it a little bit more uh, optimized we can just use the given only and we would in, uh, we would just replace it so what we can do is while the stack is not empty so st dot empty okay while the stack is not empty fair enough then s uh, int tp so character so directly let us push it okay so s of okay so let us not use let us use the for loop only okay so int i is equals to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus you can do that with the use of while loop also but the thing would occur is you need to maintain one more i to have the index so instead of that let us directly use it for loop because we won't be getting to the condition where we would be accessing the elements even if the stack is empty why because we know the number of characters that are there in the stack itself so what we would be doing is s of i is equals to st dot top now we know that we need to remove the top element to access the next top element okay so what we would be doing is st dot pop this is the operation and we would be returning this okay now let me just sorry about that okay fair enough so let me just compile and run and see okay compilation error of string s okay okay this is not a string so we would be doing for okay let's copy this loop only okay st dot push s of i itself okay now let me compile and run and see what more errors i am making okay okay the expected and the output we have got is correct okay seems like we have passed it and the number of attempts is one and the number of submissions I did is only one. I didn't submit it to be honest. Okay. Fair enough. Why that for, for each loop was not working? Because this is a pointer. Okay. Fair enough. Now tell me if things are clear to you or not. So we would wait for the next one minute to see if there is any more doubts persisting or not. Else we would move forward. Okay. So let me cancel it. Yeah. So please confirm. If the doubts are clear so if i don't get any doubts for the next 15 minutes uh, sorry next one minute i will turning off the session thanks a lot Jared. okay please like the video the number of live viewers are more than 10 but the number of likes is only three so everything is done at least give a like okay fair enough we have around 20 seconds left so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day meet you tomorrow with a new problem okay keep learning